Okay, let's try H. This one gets a little bit more complicated. It has hydrogen again, with which has one dot. But now with carbon, carbon has four valence electrons around it. So if we just connect the hydrogen and the carbon, we're not done because one of the things we didn't mention is all of these single dots have to be bonded to something. So in this situation, we need more, and you can have more hydrogen or you can have more carbon. You can have as many as you need to make this work. Again, it has that hint in there. So if we had another hydrogen on the top, we could put its dot down here and then they could connect. If we have a hydrogen over here with a dot, they could connect. And then a hydrogen at the bottom, they could connect as well. So if we clean this up, it would look like a carbon in the middle, four lines or four bonds, and then four H's around it. Now let's make sure that they have the right number of electrons. Hydrogen needs two, right? So each line represents two. So the hydrogens are good because they each are connected to a bond. But carbon needs eight. It needs to be completely filled. But again, each of these lines represents two electrons. So we have two, we have two, two, and two. So two times the four bonds, that's eight. So the carbon's good as well. So our answer for this one, all cleaned up, would look like this. And this is actually methane. And its formula would be CH4.